2020 has been a year of unity. And I know that sounds really, really weird. What do you mean, Ray? Haven't you been on Facebook? Haven't you seen all those posts about, you know, it's either Trump versus Biden, Biden versus Trump, black versus white, mask versus no mask, the virus is real, the virus is fake? Yes, I have seen all of those posts. And I agree, like this year has been the most divisive year I've ever experienced in my entire life. I've never had a year where I saw so many people divided. And it's like everything, right? Like everything from COVID to uh, our political system to, you know, the presidential candidates. And is COVID real? Is this fake? Um, do we wear a mask? Do we not wear a mask? You know, do black lives matter or do all lives matter? So many things, so many issues um, that had just got our country divided, like to such an extreme uh, that I've, I've just never seen before. And like, I don't know if this is the reality or if this is some like, you know, if you're in the conspiracy camp, you know, it's like, oh, well, you know, social media platform just um, curate these content to, you know, make the people divided or something. And I don't know if that's true or not true, but uh, just from what I've seen, like, yeah, I feel like this year has been like one of the most like polarizing like years, you know, between the people. And it's been a rough fucking year, like. People have, got, have gotten sick from the virus. People have died. Um, you know, people have died due to racial inequalities. And just like everything you see, I mean, I think like predominantly it's like, oh, you know, the, the mega camp versus like, you know, the non-mega camp. And then, you know, we have the people who wear masks and then the, the anti-maskers, you know, the fucking Karens of the world. So there's just like this constant like battle, this constant like fight, you know, between like one camp and then the other camp, you know, and it's, it's very real, you know, these are very serious and real issues um, that, you know, people are facing every single day. But I think beyond all the fighting and uh, taking sides and you know, I'm right and you're wrong, or it's like, you're with us or you're against us. Like, you know, I think beyond all that, like, there was a lot of good things that I saw happen. And you know, like this year, I saw a lot of unity. I saw a lot of people coming together, like during these hard times, like, you know, whether it's, people coming together like finding a way to keep each other safe you know whether that's wearing a mask respecting personal space um you know or for like businesses right uh reduce capacity and for certain companies that have the employees work from home the leaders working with employees on how to uh be more flexible with schedule because you know, people have more responsibilities at home, you know, such as like kids and family and everything. So, you know, there's a lot of unity and coming together in that sense. But then there's also a lot of, uh, there was also a lot of education, right? Like the big thing that happened this year with the Black Lives Matter protest, um, I think a lot of people like just weren't aware of how deep and real that you know racism is we still have racism today and you know for those who were open-minded and willing to learn and willing to you know maybe change some old perspective um there there were those other people who were willing to step up and educate you know and kind of like guide people along and you know obviously it's like there are people that just like Oh, well, you know, I'm right, you're wrong, you're dumb if, like, you don't know what I'm talking about. And sure, like, we have all walks of life. 
but you know I would say that there was a lot of unity and coming together and um, educating people and just compassion you know like trying to find a way to make it work and get through like these times together and yeah like it sucks that we even have to be talking about things like equality for all um you know equality for people of color um it sucks we even have to talk about you know basic things like wearing a mask to like protect yourself and to protect other people you know without it having to go to like oh well you know you're infringing on my rights and blah 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 bullshit bullshit like it sucks that we even have to be having this conversation in the 21st century but because we do like that's just the reality of it um and despite all that I guess I'm trying to like see the silver lining in it which is people are uniting and caring for one another and that not everything is just I'm right you're wrong this side or that side and just like just this sense of dividedness so yeah that's all for this video talk next time